to The Bolt Retort, a show dedicated to the gospel of Andrew Bolt, a man who doesn't really like being told what to do, and then proceeds to tell others that they shouldn't either. In the November 13th edition of The Bolt Report, Bolt spoke to sociologist Frank Faridi about the loss of free speech in Australia. Bolt attributes some of this constriction of freedom to a class struggle. But it seems to me also a sort of class-based thing. It seems to be the so-called knowledge class trying to stifle the opinions of people uh, who are not of the left. Now, this is a classic a bowl move. Timeless, pure, straight out of Introduction to Conservatism 101, equating political lefties with the knowledge class, the cultural elite, people with so-called higher educations. A piece from Bolt's Herald Sun blog that quite neatly hammers home this point was about the destructive economic protests in Berlin in 2009, which saw people setting fire to luxury cars. Bolt says that these car burnings are almost certainly political terrorism by the green left, and I'd bet done more by the university educated offspring of the pampered middle class than by horny handed sons of toil. Bolt's got good reason to be fearful of these dangerously learned types who worm their way into the public discourse, infecting the souls of Mr. and Mrs. John Q. Australia with their books and arts and nice smelling suits. But I'm afraid it's too late for you, Andrew. For you see, they're already here. On that same November 13th episode, Bolt had on his show Professor Will Steffen, Professor Frank Faridi, even John Della Bosca has got a bachelor's degree. He's got bachelor written all over him. <laughs> but surely fellow conservative commentator Janet Albrickson is immune. Surely she hasn't been taken by the merciless pod people and assimilated into one of their own. Dr. Janet Albrickson. And she's not even an important doctor either. She's a doctor of laws. That's like being a doctor of books. She's a doctor of words. You can't get more academic than that. If they can get to her, they must be able to get to Bolt as well. But if they had turned him, surely we would have seen something, some clue where he, I don't know, mocks people for not having a university degree. Some of the people writing this report are actually graduate students in their 20s. They're some of them 10 years away from even getting their PhDs. How could that That's happen? not a top scientist. That's uh, some of the examples you give people who haven't even done their PhD yet. And then the final nail in this coffin of the funeral at the wake of the late Andrew Bolt. Good weekend. Ran a profile on Bolt on November 19th. It was a candid article, honest, perhaps a little too honest, that has always been Bolt's one weakness. It truly gives me no pleasure to crudely highlight and take out of context Bolt's self-proclaimed safety blanket of books and classical music. <gasps> Aftershave. <gasps> How he resides in one of Melbourne's leafier suburbs and sends his three children to private schools. <laughs> and his love of opera particularly the traditional Italian operas in Italian, because he finds the opera here in Australia a little shabby. <laughs> Valet Andrew Bolt. It was a nice try. <laughs>